Okay, so I think that's the value of this movie is um, where, what is the goal of guidance but presence and, and coming into a stillness and the purpose of guidance is to undo the illusory belief in control. So the human being, the human construct is the belief that you have control over the body and control over the world. And there's an attempt to control situations and control the environment and so on and so forth. And that's what's great about this movie is, when we first saw it, you know, it just suddenly became very evident, very fast, that this was a movie in having to follow guidance to survive. And you might say, how do we translate that on the spiritual journey? In order to stay in peace of mind, you, you really need to listen and follow to the guidance. There's no way to have peace of mind, consistent peace of mind, flowing peace of mind, without being in the flow of that guidance. Uh, it's a version of the workbook lesson, I will step back and let him lead the way. So this movie is a, an extreme focus on, I will step back and let him lead the way. And so we have two main characters that are kind of thrown together, and <clears throat> they don't know each other. Uh, it's not like they've come together out of some pretense of like, um, some kind of past experience or dating or whatever. It's, they are just kind of thrown together, and then the context becomes very quickly uh, that they need to listen and follow. They need to pay attention to the clues, or where I say listen, and the spiritual uh, journey is about listening and following, but we know that the mind is not really external, so there's a lots of signs and symbols that we all receive if we're paying attention. So they have to first pay attention, and then suddenly they start to realize that there's, through the symbols around them, there's a lot of instruction coming in. And when they try to deviate from the instruction, it's not good. They get zapped <laughs> immediately. Which, when you think about it, that's like a real strong call for learning guidance and, and coming into clarity because of those consequences that seem to be there. So, uh, with that kind of framework or that kind of mindset, I think that the movie will be quite enjoyable. Um, to the untrained mind, it's just kind of looking at it and seeing it as an action-adventure. Like Jason was saying earlier, it can seem like at times it's quite abusive, but, but abusive is a filter. And the whole point of this movie is to undo the belief in abuse. The belief that something can happen to you apart from what you will, apart from what you wish, even though we know that the ego is a, is a death wish and it has to be flushed up and flushed out. This movie is, uh, is a, you might say the, the main characters are acting it out for all of us. And so, uh, I think it's pretty easy to follow in that way. It doesn't need, like Mr. Nobody, it doesn't need a lot of commentary. It's more, you, you go on the adventure and you can start to feel, oh, that's, that's what my journey will be. I need to be very precise in listening and following. And if I'm precise in listening and following, then I've got no cares and no worries. It's just the defiance, the autonomy, the rebellion that brings in the, the struggle. And that's really evident in this movie. The more they try to resist what is presented to them, obviously it's disastrous. And that's an answer to a prayer. Make it obvious. And we're all at that point. Okay, so let's roll it and we may have to pause it. It's good. It's a good movie for this time. <laughs> Lisa's ready for a good movie. <laughs>
I mean, this is a great movie. It can take you right into the atonement pretty quick if you see it all. There's there's several things that are becoming pretty obvious. What are what have we learned so far from just this the beginning of the movie? Listen, follow directions. Listen and follow directions, and if you don't, you you get you get you have disobeyed. Yeah, you know it's it's clear that that so. So what else are we seeing here? It seems to be some omniscient um, being that's giving the instructions, turning lights all green, we will eliminate <laughs> anything that's an obstacle. It's, it's like it's calling for trust, it's calling for faith and trust. They, we, they also have no clue, it came on very sudden, and, and they have no clue uh, what this is all about. And we can see the egos flaring immediately when they, they after all the hopping out of trains and disobeying and this and this, they end up in the black vehicle where they, where they he was told he was to go. And then there was enormous friction immediately, a suspicion and doubt, a huge amount that went on there. Okay, anything else? No control. No control. There's no control. It's moment by moment. They have no sense of where it's going at all. The other thing I learned is I've seen this before. <laughs> <laughs> you lived it. You lived it. I know, I'm ready to rest now. <laughs> you lived it. I know. <laughs> you remember this. This is part of the parable. <laughs> Resistance is futile. Resistance is futile. <laughs> Memory fragments. Okay, very good. That's a good. That's a good start. Because, because, you know, it doesn't seem to do them any good to try to disobey. The instructions. Are there? It's very much like a GPS too. When they yes. when they do disobey, disobey, then they're given very specific instructions, like GPSs do. The next thing, turn around, turn around make a legal U-turn, or turn. You know, so it's very much like that. I think the parallels are are enormous that way. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's just beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa. And once you're activated, you're activated. Yeah, once you're activated, you're activated. Yeah. You've been activated. <laughs> this reminds me of Helen Shuckman with her... She was almost like, she called it like an authoritative voice. Not authoritarian. Authoritarian is if there's something, something like you're being forced or coerced or it's against your will, but authoritative, like it knows what it's talking about. And she had the feeling, I, she said, I had the feeling I dare not disobey. That's what she said when she was taking down the course. She had the feeling I dare not disobey. And yet she tried oh, many, <laughs> many, many times. And they already have tried, so there's a big parallel there. With it's the, a stayer course. Stay your course. <laughs> yeah, stay your course. There's, so there's the ego is throwing in a lot of its own instructions to try to counter the omniscient instructions. Even though they're getting signs everywhere that it's all orchestrated. Yeah. They still are fighting and kicking and screaming and resisting. I like how during that car scene where they're driving through traffic. Like they tried to like slow down or whatever, so it's just like an automatic naturalism. Okay, manual controls have been given back. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you're harming yourself too much there for a moment. Manual controls. Override. Yeah, override. Yeah. Oh, it's, just, yeah, it's like the more they try to do their own thing, it's like, it, it, you said it to me, it's like, it's just so obvious how this movie shows it. Like, they put themselves in more harm, like trying to do their own thing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's so overwhelmingly obvious with the signs, but they still doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> this movie's looking familiar every once in a while. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's familiar. Everyone's been in this position. <laughs> you love the precision. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely precise. And even the slightest hesitation, stop the man or he will die, you know, there's absolutely, it's just the directions are so clear, so straightforward. And every time they try to project onto each other, or you killed, you killed a man, desertion is not an option. There's, it's, it's not about anything going on in form, but it's like a, a, such a pointed lesson in listen and follow. And do not hesitate. You know, there's like an urgency with it, so. Isn't that nice? It's so precise. <laughs> make no exceptions. Listen, follow, make no exceptions. It's really good. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Strong movie, just to, to impress that all things work together for good, that everything is for your own best interest, that absolutely everything that seems to occur is perfectly in line with the, the Spirit's plan, and it's only thinking that something's out of place or something could be would be better if it's different, or something could change in form, or just believing something's not in perfect divine order, that's what the grievance is. That's, that was the most astounding thing, I think, in the early workbook lessons of the Course, where, where I read, you know, in one lesson, you do not perceive your own best interest, which is, in, in no situation do you perceive your own best interest. And then, following it up with the next lesson, everything is for your best interest. That's the, that's what the Atonement is. So it means that you never really made any mistakes in form, you just misperceived the form and saw it in a linear way, which it isn't. It, it, it doesn't take a meaningful linear form. So everything that's interpreted kind of in a linear way, like the script, you know, is part of the misperception. And, yeah, it was such an extreme form. Kind of an interesting idea that there's an AI, an artificial intelligence, or some, you know, aria kind of thing that, that is, you know, th capable of using everything as, at its disposal, you know, for the we the people, for the, for the people, which you could interpret from a higher sense as for the good, for the good of the universe. So, the conclusion is, is that everything is always working for the good of the universe. That's why it is in the Bible, all things work together for good for those who love the Lord. <laughs> who those, for those who are in alignment with the Lord, which is simultaneity, which is, everything is simultaneous. And, and then anything that's perceived in terms of a personal nature, which there is no personal nature, then that's the whole distortion. That's the grievance. So they were dramatically 
turned into letting go. And then I think the very, very, very last scene of him coming over her and, and her thanking him for remembering and giving him a kiss, you know, that was, you know, there she goes. She's been in two of our movies, Source Code, The Happy Dream. She appears in The Happy Dream and she appears at the very end of this movie is, you know, in the the softness of forgiveness. No enemies, nothing gone wrong. And in the end you start to see that God's plan for salvation is not a linear plan either. So you don't, you can't rail against the form. Because the form was never what it seemed to be. You think about it in terms of all the outcomes of the world, like this is a year of a presidential election. Que sera, sera, whatever will be, be. Whatever will be, will be, is all, it's all in perfect divine order. And it couldn't be different. Nothing can be different than it is. It gives a deeper meaning to Byron Katie's loving what is. When you, when you start to see that, that there can't be any outcomes that ever, are ever amiss, because there aren't really any linear outcomes. It's all collapsed, it's all like on the head of a pen, it's all the point, it's all in a point instead of a line. So, so to believe that something could be different is, is the grievance, that's the grievance. It's never a grievance against a person, it's, it's the personal interpretation is the grievance. Did you guys notice um, when they're in, right at the, at the end it says 12 targets uh, found? So 12 targets found, and right below that, Jesus. Mm. With his 12 disciples. Mm. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it was there. So, the moral of the movie is, don't squirm, listen, and follow. That's the, the moral. Don't squirm, listen and follow. I think that was, in part it was taken out of the course, but the <laughs> Not exactly those words, but in the original edition, listen, learn, and do. Listen to my words, instructions, learn, learn of me, learn forgiveness of me, and do as I request. Don't squirm, listen, learn, and do. And then the doer is undone in, in that. Okay, well I'll see you all tomorrow, then I'm off to Cincinnati. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs>